Hi, it's Jill with Quick Flix. <clears throat> I'm just finishing up a project that I have here, and I think I videotaped this before, and I apologize if this is a repeat. Um, it is two foot centerpieces of um, Little Mermaid. Um, I did the other day the the um, Candyland characters. That is for the same person, but a different party. Um, what I did is flounder here is cut out one foot on a, on a 12 by 12 mat. But in order to make him two feet tall, I've got him on a mound of sand down here. And all I did by hand is took some um, cardstock that is just the, I'm trying to think what it's called, craft paper. I believe is what the color is. It's just it's the color of sand. And what I'm going to do is put some sea florals on it. Again, I do believe I have done these before. Um, I'm getting a lot of folks that are mentioning that, you know, I don't use my Cricut, um, my Cricut machine any longer. Because um, all of my videos before were using the Cricut with the scales, the vast majority. However, the problem is, is the way that the Cricut Craft Room is set up, you cannot cut and you cannot make large centerpieces. It, it, the machine, the software will not allow you to. Um, the Silhouette Cameo, when I do the great big pieces, um, if they don't fit on the mat, I can cut them in half and you've seen it on other videos. Um, that is why I switched. I, I would still do things on my Cricut machine. However, the things that I'm showing, that I'm putting together, I don't think other than the size, I don't think anything else is relevant to whether you use the Cricut machine. It doesn't matter what machine you use. Your software is going to determine how large you can make your piece. Your software and your machine is going to determine if you can do the print and cut. If you can't do a print and cut, there's a flounder on the Disney cartridge that you can make the flounder and you can make them in the layers um, like I used to do. This particular piece could be made with the Cricut because this cartridge, this is not a cartridge, this is a print and cut. However, Cricut, um, Happily Ever After or Dreams Come True, one of those two cartridges, I believe, have the Little Mermaid on it. And so you can make this centerpiece that I'm doing, even though I did it on the Cameo Silhouette, you can make it on the Cricut. And I believe if you own a Cricut machine, I don't need to teach you how to make the flounder. Um, you should be able to know how to do that. And these florals here that I'm using on my pieces, this is also from the Cricut cartridge. And this again was from the same, um, the same cartridge as flounder that's got the Little Mermaid on it. Um, and so again, this is not anything that, this was not a print and cut. The, I mean, it was a print and cut, but this one came off this, uh, I used my, <coughs> excuse me, I layered my pieces um, and colored them because I didn't want to put the layers on. And I'll show you why when I get this all put together. I've got the reverse here. And I think I have the reverse here. Here's the reverse. That I got to put on this side. Um, I love these florals. However, again, when I am making a lot of these pieces, a lot of work goes into them. And if I've got to sit there and piece together each one of these pieces with the with the numerous layers they come with, um, my prices would be out the roof. And anybody that does this knows. Um, and that is one of the reasons that, you know, some might think my prices are still high, but again, it, it's costly. The print and cut is, is cost more than doing just the paper um, layers. But not only is it, um, it, still takes a lot of work because you have to design them and you have to figure out there's a lot I, I, I'm sorry there's a lot I'm, I'm preaching here now but um, I feel like I want to help everybody um, that asks me questions and needs help 
and somebody expressed to me that, that number one they had a different machine that I'm not familiar with and um, again a lot of them have the Cricut machine and the Cricut machine you can't print and cut in you know so so there's really I don't believe there's anything that I am teaching to do how to put a centerpiece together how to make a two foot centerpiece um, how to put the wood between the layers anything I'm teaching you to do if all you have is a Cricut machine you might be limited to Cricut cartridges however there's a million images out there now with the new the new machine coming out even if you can't do the print and cut you can't do it now you have to do it in the layers you can still if you know how to make these pieces you can still make them it doesn't matter what machine you have it just you have to do them differently but um, when I started this whole process um, I was not teaching these teaching how to do these for those of you only if you had this machine because again um, now I'm not going to repeat myself I'm going to let it go with that but um, that's what it is it is what it is anyway I, I know like I said I think I've done these before but I'm going to do them again and then I'm going to take a picture because I did a couple different large ones of Ariel. Now when I'm all done with the florals down here in the sand I am going to add um, there's my paper flowers to give them a little texture. Now I might move this up a little bit because somebody, nope I think I'm good. Somebody had said yesterday that um, where I was filming from they were not getting a good a good shot and I do apologize and somebody else liked view, um, filming from the other side the problem that I have is that um, it's really really hard for me to get at because my glue gun is attached over there and it's not easily easy to get at and so I'm trying my best to do a better job at locating where I'm filming here so that you can get a good shot um, would be ideal if I could shoot straight down from the front of me however I have a feeling my dogs would be wearing my camera around their neck because um, that's where they come into my room and I think it would cause a disaster so I apologize but I'm limited this is I'm doing what I can do and in the other area is now holding housing my huge printer and that printer is not one that I can just put anywhere because it's a monster and so I don't know if you asked me for an explanation of all of that or not but I just gave you one and you can do what you'd like with it let me see I want to put one flower here. You know what? Let me see. What do I have left here? I have one more piece to do. That's this side and that's the flip side. Let me see what I have because I've got um, Sebastian to do. So I've got that and that and you know what I think I did. Oh, here's one. That's flipped. I think I might have not flipped something. That would be a shock. If I send them in the right in the center here, it doesn't matter if they're flipped or not. Okay, these two will be Sebastian. And this one and this one will be Sebastian. And let me see how these back up to each other. That's not it. And let me see, this will be Sebastian. I'd have this one left over and this will be, whoops, I'm not throwing them into Sebastian. Here's Sebastian. Here's Sebastian. Here's what I have left over. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to throw another seaweed up here. That's what I wanted to figure out. There we go. How simple was that? And 
have another shell. And a bunch of flowers, that's for sure. Eh, that's good enough. There we go. There we got flounder. And let me flip that over. And I do believe I just got to do some flowers here. And I have the green and whatever color I pick here. And I'm going to do a couple flowers here. And there we go. And whoop, 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 whoop. Ooh, I forgot to turn my dinner off. I made dinner for my husband, which I never cook. He always does all the cooking. So I once in a while like to surprise him because he does so much. And so I said, oh, I'm going to surprise him. When he comes home, he'll have dinner. And a turkey call, I called him to ask him when he was going to be home. And went to my daughter's for dinner. So he's in the doghouse with me because I went and cooked. Eh, he's not really in the doghouse, but... You know, after I lectured him and told him how it'd be nice for him to tell me ahead of time, I think he was kind of laughing inside thinking I never cook anyway. How would he know I was going to cook? You know what? Cook for him for 40 years. It's his turn. And he's a better cook. No, I'm a good cook. I just don't have the time. I work too much. I don't have the time. So, so he told me to just get back to work. There we have flounder. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on probably bases that, oh, oh, that was real brilliant of me. I didn't do Sebastian yet. I better do him. Put this off, and there we go. And I'm going to put him on a base. And squeaky base. Squeaky. Okay, I'm going to set him over here. And then let me do Sebastian, same thing. He is the same setup. He is on the mound of sand. And this is one foot. This is probably not one foot. But you know what? The way I have him put together, he's 22 inches tall. Um, and the person that ordered these is... Uh, she gets all of her decorations from me and I don't think she measures them when she gets them because everything is exactly what she wants and I don't think anybody's out there with the tape measure. I call these my two foot pieces. Um, even my little cars that I videotaped last night, those are considered two feet uh, or 18 inches. They're 18 inches long. Um, it all depends on how you're measuring it and if you take into consideration the base and whatnot. But um, in this particular case, I couldn't make him bigger than the mat because he would have been wider and to make him two feet tall, he would have been two feet wide, way too big. So that was why I decided to do what I did, what I did with him. What did I do with my, there's my stuff. Okay. You know, I shouldn't be talking to you guys when I'm doing this because I get myself so confused. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. It's a story of my life. Oh, I tell ya. Today I had a, a training and they said, make sure you, um, make sure I, I, I don't know if they want to call it voice my opinion, but participate, you know, because it was a pretty intense training on, uh, uh, the future of our world with the internet technology and voice over IP and and all of these um, fun things that we have, all these toys and stuff. And they said just you know to make sure. And I'm then thinking, oh, they should have told me please to try my hardest to not talk too much because um, I have a tendency to. Uh, voice my opinion where they might not necessarily want it. But I was a really good girl today. I was real good. I don't think I I was um, conservative with my opinion. Because little do they know, oh, the world of today and and um, 
it was so funny because my I had an internet issue oh probably about a month ago and I couldn't get online and I I work from home so of course I work on a VPN and and um, couldn't get in because my internet net went down and so I decided to what we call ILA in, which is a different way of getting in. Um, and I said, oh, no problem, I'll do that off my laptop because off my Mac I can't. The Mac doesn't support it. So I tried and I tried and I tried and I could not get on. And I was just absolutely going out of my mind because if I can't get on, that means I got to drive into the office. And if I have to drive into the office, means I'm in dire straits because um, I had given my car to my daughter because they had ordered a new car that uh, I'd like to say came in today. Only took eight months for their custom made car. No idea how it could possibly take eight months to get a car. But anyway, the car finally came in today. So she had my car because she couldn't be left alone with two kids at home, two babies and no car. So since I work from home, I don't go anywhere. I said she could have it. Well, when my internet went down, See, I didn't lose track of where I was heading with the story. Um, I said, well, I can't go into the office because I don't have a car, and I'm not going to leave my daughter without a car. So I thought my daughters both built homes within walking distance. They're pretty close to, to my house. And I called them and said, guys, you know, I didn't have a, you have to have a telephone a, a landline to um, call in on, um, call back in on the phone system that we have because you, you call in and it rings back on your landline and long and short I don't have a landline all I have is a cell phone so I called my daughter and I said you got a landline so I can come over there and work and she's like no we don't have a landline I go you gotta be kidding so I called my other daughter and I said you got a landline of course I always call them on the cell phone so I don't know she said no nope, don't she said we got rid of it a few months ago and I called my son. They all live right nearby. And um, found out no one, no one has a landline. Unbelievable. I said, I cannot, I just can't believe that we all use cell phones. And then I called my, my boss and said, man, I don't have a phone. And I can't, I can't work on the, the way I needed to work without a phone. He goes, well, just use your cell phone had no idea that I could use my, have my ring back come on my cell phone. So I learned something new. I know nobody's interested in this. No one cares. But anyway, just thought I'd talk tell anyway just because I never be quiet. And I don't like to explain what I'm doing here as I do it because you all have, you all can see what I'm doing. Here is Sebastian in his sea flowers on his mound of sand. And here are my thousands of dry flowers. You know what? I have like six containers. Um, I've down, I, I've shoved them all into one now. But I had all these containers of these flowers. And um, I just think they're so pretty. It doesn't include all the ones that are sitting up on the, who can believe how many dry flowers I have but or not dry flowers paper these are paper absolutely love them but don't use them that much because there's only certain things i like them on so here's what i'm going to do next project is going to be the 18 inch um what are they called monsters high that is going to be my next project um, centerpieces of Monsters High. What were the other pieces that Monsters High and oh I did the Monsters truck and the uh, matchbox that I did yesterday. So I'm going to set these here. There's a lot of them and show you pictures of and kind of give you a little idea of what I did here. This is Ariel sitting in a clamshell um, again, this was all done on my silhouette, and I pieced them because she's huge. The, the, this part of her fin was one piece, this part of the shell was one piece, this part over here. All of the florals are the same on all the centerpieces, and then I just put some paper florals up there. Um, 
just to give her a little bit of an um, texture. There we have Sebastian. Let me bring him up a little closer here. Another Ariel and Flounder and my bright light. My art light. Okay, come on. If I turn it off, then it's too dark. There's Flounder. They all have the florals um, and they all are two feet tall. But see, when they get to be wide and you make them two feet tall, she's equally as wide. She's two feet wide. So she's two feet tall and nearly two feet wide. And these guys, Ariel looks smaller here because she's standing. Um, but she's actually two feet tall and now he's two feet tall because of his florals and flounders two feet tall. So when they're all done, even though she looks a lot bigger, that's what happens um, when they're really wide. That's why Hello Kitty, certain things I will not do in two feet because they're ungodly wide. Anyway, that's it. Stay tuned for the next. Bye-bye.